All right, what I want to do now is I want to draw kind of a bridge that goes across from the H over to the A. The reason I want to do that is I want all of this as one contiguous piece of art that my machine cuts out. So Aspire has some very, very powerful drawing tools, almost like Adobe Illustrator and AutoCAD itself. So I'm just going to use my mouse and kind of roll up here on my center button on my mouse, my thumb, my thumb wheel, and roll up. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select Draw an Arc. Now, as you can tell, I'm already set to arc through three points. That's good. So we'll go ahead and kind of notice a little cross here in the point in the center. I want to get myself kind of back in the center of this. I'll draw myself a nice looking arc and I extend over to the other side. That looks great. Now I'm going to come down here at the bottom and I'll show you why I'm going to do that here in a moment. I'm going to draw an arc here, as you can tell, over to that point. Now, I'm going to come in now and delete all this uh, artwork that's in here that I don't need out. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that and close this. And I'll use my scissor tool to do interactive vector trim. So I'll come up here, and I'll clip that, and I'll clip this, and I'll clip this right here, here, and here, and here. Now, if you notice the... Uh, if you notice this line right here kind of goes across here and this is down so I'll fix that by using my point edit command and I'll select that and I'll come over here and select this and now I'll zoom up using my mouse again I'll just grab this point and I'll just kind of move it up here looks like a good spot and I'll select that I'll take this control handle and just kind of move that down click that I use the F key on my keyboard to fit this. I'll click out here in space. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I kind of like the look of that. So now I've got my thing modified. I've got all my text here. But there's still one problem I've got. Let's go back to the arrow key for a minute here and do the selection. I'm going to click on this. Now it looks like they're all connected, but they're not. What I need to do now is go to Edit and come down here and it says Join Vectors. Hit Join Vectors. And as you can tell, it closed some of the stuff that's out there. So I hit close, and we're good to go. Now I'll select this, and it's all one contiguous space. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and save our file. Very important to do that. We'll do a save as. And I'm going to say, because it has that same name, it's going to give me a carved 3D file. That's good. We want that. And we'll go ahead and save this. Okay, excellent. So our artwork is edited and we've got it ready to start creating our toolpath. We're going to stop here for now.